Elon Musk can add a new title to his resume, Guinness World Record Holder for the Largest Loss a personal fortune in history. The organization announced the record-setting loss, citing data from Forbes that Musk saw his fortune shrink by $182 billion since November of 2021. And that's thanks in large part to an abysmal 2022 for Tesla stock. Guinness noted that although the exact figure is almost impossible to ascertain with some outlets estimating that he lost more than $200 billion, the Twitter owner demolished the previous record a $58.6 billion loss by Japanese investor Masayoshi Sun in 2000. Musk's shrinking fortune was largely due to the steep slide of Tesla shares, which lost roughly 65 percent of their value during the company's worst year on record. The loss was enough to knock him off his perch as the richest man in the world, a title now held by luxury goods, a luxury good uh, entrepreneur there. Business editor Richard Southern is here now, and Richard Elon Musk used to be the richest person in the world, and I don't want to say he's fallen on tough times, but his fortune much smaller than it used to be. Yeah, he's um, he's notched a record none of us uh, want to get, Erica. Elon Musk is now in the Guinness World Records for the person who's lost the most fortune ever. He's lost $182 billion between November of 2021 and now. As you say, though, he is still one of the wealthiest individuals on Earth with a current net worth of $138 billion. But he used to be worth $320 billion just a year and a, a bit ago. It really comes down to Tesla stock, which lost 65% last year. And then, you know, his net worth further negatively impacted after he spent $44 billion to buy Twitter this past October. Hey, speaking of Twitter, the New York Times just moving headline, Erica, saying that Twitter may consider selling user names to boost revenue. So it may come to... Uh, you having to buy your own username at some point. Elon trying to raise some cash there, it seems. Yeah, over $100 billion, though? I don't know. Uh, it's not very often that we can say prices are moving lower, but that's actually going to be the case at some Disney theme parks. Welcome news uh, to parents, because we know a trip down to Disney ain't the cheapest thing to do. Disney has a new CEO. Bob Iger is back. He was the longtime chief executive at the company. He got the boot in 2020 when they brought in an individual named Bob Chaffick. And Chaffick, he hiked prices at Disney. But now Bob Iger is back in the big chair and he's reducing them again. Disney says it's going to significantly increase the number of days that tickets sell for the lowest price, which is 104 US dollars. They kind of do a dynamic pricing uh, at Disney parks in Orlando and Anaheim. On the most in-demand days, the highest ticket for an adult is 179 US. But Disney says they're going to have more cheap days coming. What's more, visitors to theme parks will no longer be charged to download photos. Uh, Chappick was, uh, or Iger was reportedly uh, critical of Chappick's price hikes when he was CEO Disney stock Erica was higher today. All right. And finally, we've seen the loony plummet in value in recent years, but that's nothing compared to what's happening in some South American countries. Yeah, like Argentina. I mean, we're, we're talking about our inflation going uh, surging at like seven or eight percent. Nothing compared to what's going on in Argentina. Things are so bad there that artists like this one are painting on bank notes because they're worth next to nothing look at that jaws painting there erica mm -hmm. annual inflation hitting a hundred percent last year in argentina making the most valuable banknotes there like the 1000 peso bill worth only about a dollar or two canadian so cheap that artists are putting all sorts of designs on those everything from lionel messi uh, to jaws you name it uh, this is a not a good phenomenon, though. It's helped drag about 40% of people in Argentina in to poverty. Elon Musk has set a Guinness World Record, but not one that he will want to brag about. The Tesla and Twitter CEO now holds the record for the largest loss of wealth ever. Guinness reported the record after Forbes assessed Musk lost $182 billion since November of 2021. Other sources suggest that it's actually closer to $200 billion, but despite this, Musk is not hurting for money. He is still worth about $138 billion. I guess he's wow. going to be okay. I think he, his check shouldn't bounce. Yeah, <laughs>
I'm Maribel Aber with your consumer headlines. The lingering bird flu outbreak and rising costs for feed and fuel are keeping egg prices high. The national average for a dozen eggs hit $3.59 late last year, according to government data. That's more than double the $1.72 of a year earlier. Nearly 58 million birds have been infected with the avian flu, according to the Agriculture Department. And that's hurting production of eggs at a time when demand is high. All that is squeezing household budgets along with businesses like bakeries that rely on eggs. Guinness says Elon Musk has set the world record for the biggest loss of wealth. The Tesla and Twitter CEO lost $182 billion of his fortune since November of 2021, according to Forbes. Musk's wealth peaked at $320 billion in 2021 and has fallen around $138 billion now. Tesla's stock makes up most of Musk's fortune, and that is, was down 65% last year. Before Musk, the largest loss was about $59 billion of SoftBank founder Masayoshi Son's fortune back in 2021. 2020. Disney is making it easier for its most loyal customers to visit its theme parks. At the company's Florida parks, annual pass holders can visit after 2 p.m. without a reservation. The only exception is Saturdays and Sunday at the Magic Kingdom. And at Disneyland in California, the company is increasing the number of days it offers its lowest price one day, one park ticket. The company says the changes were prompted by feedback from guests who complained about rising prices and longer wait times. Top Gun Maverick was the biggest movie of 20 2022. The Tom Cruise action movie took in 719 million in ticket sales in the U.S. and Canada to grab the top spot at the box office. Black Panther Wakanda Forever was second with 436 million. That was just one of four Disney movies in the top 10. Those helped make Disney the number one studio last year with 2 billion in ticket sales from its movies. I'm Maribel Aber with your consumer headlines on the KPRC 2 Plus live stream.